Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Tron 2.0. In the previous episode, we attempted to escape the ICPs only to end up getting caught by them. Yeah, rather unfortunate. And now we are forced to compete in a light cycle arena, cause what would a Tron game be without light cycles? To try and potentially earn our freedom? I have no idea how they operate here in the digital world. Uh, also, uh, in the intervening weeks between my last recording session for this game, I played through my personal profile and I made some discoveries. Uh, for starters, we're actually going to be getting into energy consuming weapons uh, a lot sooner than I thought we would, which means our next level up is primarily going to be going into weapon efficiency. <clears throat> the other thing that I discovered, and this is interesting, is the fact that, um, well, build notes are actually randomized. Like, there's always going to be a set amount for each level, but their locations where they can be found are completely randomized. So any guide that you find for them probably isn't going to work for you. Because, uh, I don't know if you remember, but there's that platform uh, back in the first level that we jumped to. I was like, oh, it's disappointing, there's nothing here. Well, turns out that's one of the locations a build note can spawn. Just thought I'd tell you that. But, without further ado, let us step into the light cycle grid. Yeah, depending on how the AI acts, this is either going to be really easy or really difficult. Alright, first thing I'm going to go for is I'm going to try and get this wall breaker. Shield break acquired. Sorry, shield break. Then I'm gonna try and trap this guy in his own wall, which I did manage, but um Yeah, it's all about timing. Oh well, we got two other guys to worry about, so if we could take one out, then we've only got one to worry about. And sometimes they do manage to uh outmaneuver you. And don't know if I mentioned this, I probably did and have forgotten because it's been a week. But Shield Break is only good through breaking through one barrier. And he just crashed right away. And he's already got a Shield Break. Dang it. Though he didn't use it to break out of his own wall. Weird. Well. At least it's quick to load back in. By the way, one other thing, you can actually use it... Long button? Shield break to break through enemies. Because apparently if you crash into a light cycle itself with a shield break activated, then it'll just count as breaking through them. Unfortunately, Skate went in a different direction than I would have liked. Oh, and yes, there is an actual limit to uh, how far the wall will stretch out, thank god. Dang it! Because here's the thing, wall break wouldn't have done me any good there because then I just collided with the wall itself. And yes, I'm going to be going back and forth on wall break and shield break. Shield break acquired. Yeah. Okay, now if I can just get Cody. And Cody de -rezzed. Despite having a... Shield break. And we... There's actually supposed Program to be an exit area you... Sim, frog, and... An exit area you're supposed to drive into, but apparently I was already on it when it spawned in. Don't worry, there's nothing you can miss on those uh, arenas. Um, prepare to enter Grid Arena 2. Okay, these guys. These are guys are kind of important. You're going to want to walk in and listen to them. Are you going to wager or what? Hold on, I can't make up my mind. 
Hey, program, do you have any insight on which racer will win the next heat? Always go with the blue racer. No matter what, it's always the blue racer who wins. Definitely the blue racer. You sound pretty confident. Shh, the race is almost over. We're now down to two racers, and what a round this has been! Okay, red is hugging the wall, blue is doing the same. They're hurtling for each other at top speed. Only one will come out of this victorious. My friends, this is life cycle racing at its finest. Red Banks, red, blue wins! What a race! <laughs> Good call, program. And that gets you five build points. So there is more than just primary objectives and uh, build notes to collect in order to raise your uh, build level. Now then, we want to talk to this guy. You did real good out there. If properly equipped, I'm betting you can go the distance. Take this permission and access the security lockers. I think you'll like what you find in there. I've got a lot riding on you, program. Oh, and trust me, you want to listen to this guy. But now with that permission, we can open this archive bin to get an email. To Olivia from Nick. I'm one step ahead of you. I've already sent my resume out to three companies this morning. A merger is never a pretty sight, especially for the home team. If Gibbs Jr. does indeed sell the company, I bet half of us get laid off. I can't take that chance. I've got two dogs and an expensive car to worry about. By the way, can I have my stapler back? Nick. Okay, for those of you who probably don't understand it, it's worried about my job, it's connection to this one. Now then, there shouldn't be any other build notes, because we are going to come back to this arena one more time. But now we need to find the locker, that be really enough, right here, and get a super light cycle rod. Yeah, this ain't your grandpa's light cycle anymore. Programs scheduled for grid competition are to enter light cycle arena immediately. Unfortunately, we don't have the permissions to access any other uh, lockers, at least not to my memory. Can't get that one, can't get that one, and can't get this one. So, yeah. Anyways, no more build notes. Let me just check down here, because I know I didn't. Yeah, that randomized uh, location thing really is messing with me. But oh well. Anyways, let's get on to the next race. Ba bam And to those of you who are thinking, hey, this looks a lot like the light cycle from from uh, the GTA, yeah, that's because that's what it's based off of. And let me tell you right now, the super light cycle is a hell of a lot faster than the uh, regular one. Like I said, this ain't your grandpa's light cycle. Of course, being so much faster also makes it a little bit more difficult to control. Couldn't get the wall break like I wanted, but Slim ended up getting derezzed anyways. <sighs> See, while it is the best strategy, it's also the most risky. At least in my opinion. Yeah. <sighs> Him. Dang it. Should have just kept going straight, but I didn't see that curve in the wall. Oh, shut up. You got D res too. Where did he go? Oh boy. See, that's the advantage the AI have over you, is that they have reflexes that you don't. Shield break acquired. 
Alright, Sim is dead, Prague's down, all that's left is... Trom? Yeah, 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 you're a dead man anyways. I know this will work eventually. Be working eventually. Stop crashing into me, you kamikaze light cyclist. I do not like driving over those speed boosters if I can help it. Oh, come on! I activated it. I should have gone right through that. Alright, note to self, just activate it as soon as you get it. He's down. Uh, Sim's running a little too close to that speed boost for my tastes. Ability itself is meant, to, or pulling that off is meant to be challenging. Up yours, Sim. No, you don't. Another Ugh. See what I mean about them having vastly superior reflexes? I mean, yes, they're programs. because I crashed right through. Come on. This has got to be the last one. I know I can pull this off. Shield break acquired. Alright, Frog's a goner. Don't know about Krom. Nope, Krom's a goner. But so is Frog, so I'm just gonna slow down as slow as I can on this super light cycle until he eventually derises. Oh, what's the matter, pal? Your living condition's getting smaller. Right, where's the exit? Should be. There it is. Ooh, okay, I am immediately quick saving after that, and. Like I said, majority of this is going to be going into weapon efficiency. Ah, screw it, I'm going to toss everything into weapon efficiency. Actually, let me take a couple points off, because I could actually really use some extra health. Programs land, jet, 2D, and Mercury. Prepare to enter Grid Arena 3. Right, let's talk to these guys where we search for that last build note. For the record, you have a 1.19e to the minus 7 chance of winning. Mercury has never been defeated. Oh, don't count on that, whoever is making those messages. Programs scheduled for grid competition are to enter Light Cycle Arena immediately. Ah, there's that last build note. Might as well talk to this chick while we're on the way. Is Mercury really that good? Is a beta version buggy? She's the undisputed light cycle champ. Those bikes move in straight lines, but somehow Mercury manages to run circles around everyone. I wouldn't worry too much about this. Right? Impressive racing. Keep it up. Maybe after the race you can give me a few pointers. 
Wait, what am I saying? <laughs> After the race, you'll be history. I wouldn't worry too much about this. I'm sure it's just bragging. Welcome to the Light Cycle Racing Finals! In this double elimination match, Jed and Lan are squaring off on one side of the arena, while Mercury and Tony are on the other side. The winners will meet in the middle to decide the ultimate victor. Yeah, not quite. Wait, what is Mercury doing? She's gone crazy! One of the observation towers is collapsing! Now she's... Jed, do as I say and don't ask questions. Break. Hurry, Required. and make your way to the far side of the grid arena. Escape the arena by using the ramp made of debris. Do it now. See, I told you not to worry. Yeah, don't bother fighting these guys, it's a waste of time. Just get out of here. Hello, Mercury. Hello, Jet. Mercury, you're... Uh, yes, I am. Then you're not half bad on the grid. Uh, thanks. I heard you mention Mathria. My user sent me to help her. Who's your user? I don't know. Goes by the name of Guest. Uh, we should get out of here. How did you know I could hold my own out there? I didn't. Yikes. Ah, the early 2000s when few people would bat an eye at what is essentially a scantily clad woman. Is it true? What you said about being a user? So you believe me? There is something special about you. Come with me. I want to show you something. It's a little trick I learned that may come in handy. Okay, so for this area, we're going to want the fuzzy signature, at least at first. If you can, try to equip some defensive items, because you're going to need it, because we don't have our disc with us. Uh, yeah, the extra protection is going to be more important than the virus scan. I know that sounds weird. You can take out enemies quietly using the Rod Primitive. It's most effective when used against an enemy unaware of your presence. To activate, press and hold the fire button. Yes, but be aware that this will consume energy. If you have a energy. fuzzy signature subroutine, this would be a good time to install it into your system memory. Just double checking that I did in fact install it. Good. I got that for some extra protection, which we are going to need. Right, there's a guy right there. We're gonna go around this way. And the way these work is they're essentially shock sticks. It does stun enemies while you're shocking them, but it consumes energy, and it can do so fairly quickly. So, you are going to be quick saving in this area a lot. Especially given one new enemy we're going to be facing. We need to get your disc back. That means getting inside the Colonel's observation tower. It won't be easy, but I have a plan. Let me just real quick check back here. Because uh, I actually missed a build note on my personal playthrough. I could not find it no matter where I looked. What's your plan? We're going to access this command buffer to learn more about how this system works. In the meantime, make your way to the processing level. I'll contact you later with more information. The prisoner cell area is right through that door. Use this permission key to activate the bit controlling the door out of here. This ain't gonna be easy. Fortunately, I can't toggle crouching, so I pretty much prisoner have to... Rami, that enemy right there. From what I can tell, they're an enemy known as a sniffer, seeker, something, I can't remember. Scanners, finders, whatever. They're super annoying enemies that are essentially going to aim bot you. Oh, Rami. Huh. I haven't seen him since level one. They're, like I said, they aim bot you and they will 
basically just blast you into oblivion. Ah, if I am right, this is the very subroutine that we are going to need. It's going to make things easier for us, but we gotta port it over first, and I'm going to stay hidden in here while we do that. But yeah, they blast lasers at you, they do a bunch of damage, and good lord are they annoying. Especially if you have no ranged capabilities. Come on, finish porting over. Please be what I think it is. I hope it's not ran- I hope stuff like this ain't randomized. Yes, it isn't. Suffusion. This is the first of our... Come on, if it would show up. Yeah, I don't know why, but the tracking for the mouse in the menu is slightly off. This is Suffusion. Short-range weapon capable of firing deadly blast of energy pellets. This is essentially a shotgun. And it is pretty much the weapon we are going to be using for the rest of this level. Well, at least until we get our disc back. Okay, let's quick save again, because even with this, we are still highly vulnerable. There's a bit over there, but I'd like to clear out this area before we move on. And that includes sh shutting down the sec resins. Get a close range headshot on them, and it pretty much blows them away. Oh, by the way, that little disc thing, that seeker thing I told you about, there is one other super annoying thing about them. When they die, they explode, which does a lot of damage. Where is it? Okay, there's one of the build notes. There's four in this entire level. There it is. Ooh. Okay, this went much, much better than the last time I played through this. Okay, with all the sec resers down... Ah, there's another build note. Hey, program, it's me, Rami. Find the bit that controls this door, and I'll get us out of here. Cool. Hmm. I have to wonder, did I miss out on some points in my personal playthrough because I didn't talk to him before finding the bit? Wouldn't surprise me. Uh, we can also see that there is an upgrade, but we're missing the permission for it. I believe I know where to track it down, though. I just want to check all these back areas, make sure that we aren't missing any possible build notes. There is a healing patch in there if you need it. But my personal recommendation is, once you get out through there, go in here, take out the ICP guard in here, get the suffusion, it'll make your life easier. There's the bit, and I may as well get this going now. But, what we are going to do is we are going to climb up here. Let's see... Uh... Don't have permission 2 and we don't have permission 6. Ooh, there's also a beta subroutine for virus scan. Also fuzzy signature if you didn't get it already. Come on, download. There we are. Uh... Hmm... I should probably hold on to Fuzzy Signature just to be a little bit safer. Uh, basically, the beta version of Virus Scan lets you know which subroutine is corrupted so you don't have to try and play a guessing game. Whew. Okay, almost all there. Now, rather than trying to jump across all these boxes over there, we're just going to walk around because... Uh, there's a nice bridge here we can use to get across. Much, much safer, and as I have also learned, Jet can't take a whole lot of falling damage. Like, at all. Let's 
Okay. Now that we've done that, let's check this out. There'll probably be a permission that we need. And peripheral seal. That'll get us some extra protection. And, and now I'm actually starting to think of swapping out the uh, fuzzy signature for that. Because every bit of armor does reduce the amount of damage we take. Ooh, but this is infected. So we want to get that disinfected before we even think of using it. And I'm actually thinking of using that uh, scrubber to upgrade the submask, because that's an extra 2% protection, and it frees up a little space for us to be able to... Well, actually, no, we'd start to remove something to put in the peripheral seal. But that's not important right now. What is important right now is A, not falling off of this, and B, picking up the build note. Alright, uh, we've looked around. I'm pretty sure that's everything in here. So, I'm just going to get some energy from this, and then I'm going to go get that upgrader, or that upgrade. And, uh, well, then get us out of here. With Rami's help, of course. Alright, peripheral seal successfully disinfected. Mm. Yeah, sneaking around isn't going to be all that useful to us. So I'm just going to take Fuzzy Signature off. Really? I... Fuzzy Signature is useful here, but once you get Suffusion, you don't need to be too stealthy. I mean, technically you do still need to be stealthy for a bit. Now then, was it in here? I believe it was. There it is. Optimizer, that's what it's called. Now, I know you're probably thinking, oh, why not upgrade the Suffusion? Well, upgrading it, while it does reduce the spread and increase the energy pellet shot, it does also increase the energy usage. And if we had non-energy consuming options, i.e. our disc, I would recommend it. But we need to be very careful with our energy consumption. Plus... Having extra damage protection is going to be very useful for us. And now that I have the extra space, may as well toss virus scan back on there. Uh, you can't actually rescue anyone else. The permissions you need aren't available for you to get here, so don't bother. Now, let's get out of here. Yeah, and you do have to free Rami in order to proceed, because he's the only one who can activate uh, this. Now, bear in mind, this is Data one way. Active. So, make sure you get all the build notes in the area before you move on. Thanks, Rami. Until next time. Ah, here's another one, and there's going to be just one more. Oh, by the way, you can't actually save this guy. See, no matter what, he still walks in there and it still gets activated. Mission 5, not gonna bother, even though it costs no energy. Connecting to IO Grid. Okay, here's the deal. You can use the processing platform to reach the recovery level. From there, you should be able to gain access to the Colonel's observation tower. I'm not able to send you the required permission set, but you can bypass the requirement by destroying the two encryption keys. Study this help file for more information. Node deactivated. Yeah, it's basically those things. You just gotta shoot them. Let me check if there actually is a permission thing on here. There is not. Hmm. Interesting. But anyways, just shoot these things off. Make sure to recharge your energy before you leave. And... Well, unfortunately, what's coming up next is gonna be a bit frantic, and we are actually running short on time for this episode. And I don't know how long it's going to take, especially if I failed repeatedly. Yikes. Which I wouldn't be surprised by, so... I'm actually going to end the episode off here for today. If you guys like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications for when I upload, or to hit the straw pulling to vote for our next Let's Play. And please, leave a comment down below this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.